Hi everybody, Sanji Bonani, welcome to my channel, Kamala Mgunta and and on this channel, Sia Isbuge, I'm a reality shows, a to Allah, Mzanti Bese, Sizala, so kulumanga ola ma shows, Sia Pindage, for this kulumanga, ma celebrities guy, na ma YouTubers, a to Allah, Mzanti, and today, you guys, this morning, I have a full review for you, for Real Housewives of Durban, and of course, we're doing something different, as we are separating our review into three parts, you guys, part of it is the fact that, you guys the video does become too long if i talk about everything in one video and part of it is some strategy okay so that we can get three videos out of this review because of course when it's a day that i do real housewives i'm usually not able to do other videos because it takes me so long to go through everything because you guys want all the details and also throughout the day we are talking about it okay so you guys please make sure that you watch all three parts also if it's your first time joining me today and you think you like it on this channel please press the subscribe button and the notification bell because it's all my lezo mga bumse wenzo mosha se se wufagi lunga kotla wutu like a video gandike futi kuya siza kakulu wutu buga ma advert gule video le na gandima ufunu wutu nigi channel imali there is a thanks button lange zanzi just press it and then it will tell you what to do you guys listen you guys it was a good episode uh, probably not as good as the last episode, but it was good nonetheless. It's a good preparation for that episode that they're going to have next week, which is them going on another getaway. I don't know why they're still doing getaways. <laughs> If I went on a getaway with friends and every time we go on a getaway, we'll be fighting. I'll be like, I'm not getting going on the next one, but they always go. And, uh, but we understand you guys, they're shooting the show. They don't really have a choice. A lot of these trips are not really their trips. Okay. They are the productions uh, trips. Okay. Like this week, it doesn't make sense that they're talking about us being broke, but she's planning a trip for the ladies. You, you understand? You get me? <laughs> one plus one does it equal five do you get a five yes you guys so yes so they're going to be getting uh going away overall you guys uh I, sometimes it's good to see the ladies just calm, you know, having calm con conversations because it's a good representation of women, okay? Listen, we do get crazy, we do fight, but sometimes we do have normal conversations, okay? <laughs> so, it's more real, actually, when they have calm conversations sometimes. I feel like this season, every single cast member, there is an issue that I have with every single one of them. They are messy in some way. Way, okay they are messy in some way i am surprised with myself that i'm actually liking how any is this season you guys i feel like she's the most real okay she will call you out she will hold you accountable she is real she doesn't cover things up if she doesn't like what you said she's gonna say she doesn't like what you said okay i am just waiting for her to find out about sorisha knowing what usane had said what she said and not revealing it to her i want to see how she reacts to that but overall you guys I am lacking any everybody else just seem messy to me okay last week I did a video and I was saying I commend Unongu Uguti even though she had introduced Usli to the group but she did not come to the group and tell on Us, um, Usli did I say Usani? She introduced Usli to the group, but she did not tell on her staff, okay? She did not tell them her mess, okay? But this week we find out that she did, okay? <laughs> she was like, tut, tut, tut. Akana male, Hey, so she actually. She was like, anyway, you guys, this starts with this uh, episode. Listen, of course, last week there was going to be this fight that they were invited to, which is supposed to be hosted by uh, Ukelvin, not Jojo. <laughs> But they were no, nowhere to be found. We didn't even see Kelvin until like towards the end uh, of the night, you guys. I don't know if they edited him out because if you have invited these ladies uh, to a fight night, at least go and greet them. If your wife is not going to do it, do it yourself. So it's like they were invited to this event, but nobody's coming to welcome them. Nobody's coming uh, to just 
show what they appreciate the fact that they honored the invitation it didn't make sense to me that's why last week i said what i feel like this this was initially kelvin's event However, after everything that went on with his wife, maybe he decided he doesn't want to do the event anymore. And maybe production took over the planning of the event. They were like, listen, people are already invited. Let's just do it. Because it does not make sense to me that they acted, Kelvin, Beno, Jojo, they acted the way that they did towards the ladies. But they were the ones that invited them. Because they could have just decided, listen, this person left us at the Dragon's Bag on a trip that she invited us to we're not at attending any of her events anymore they could have decided they're not going there but everybody honored the invitation and i think that they deserved at least for somebody to come and say guys thank you so much uh, for coming and you know just the appreciation but they did not uh, get that you guys so of course uh <laughs> Singa ibona lete shiwo ulokuzumba luku tayistuka ne 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 sontel ngeko. Sometimes we will have to on the way you like. I got that now in Nungu, okay? So, uh, Ujojo arrives. Obviously, she arrives late, looking beautiful. She arrives late, and uh, you guys here for to George, okay? Arrives when Nungu goes and gets her, and uh, from. The way that she arrives, it's her event. So even if she has issues with everybody, I felt like she's supposed to go to every single lady and say, hi, guys, hi, ladies, hug some people, whoever she can manage to hug. Even if it's just fake, I think for that moment, she was supposed to be fake and just like, you know, greet them. Guys, thank you so much for coming to my husband's uh, event. She doesn't do that. She just goes straight to, I think she greeted Umaria, uh, Ruan, and then went and sat with Unoku. Okay, Unoku get up. He's like, "Oh my God, my angel is here. My heart is so full. God has sent me the angel. God really listens to you." I'm like, "Unoku, it's not that deep. Jojo just arrived." Okay. <laughs> now apparently, Jojo is an angel. Gitsimina, which side does this angel go uh, belong to? Eh, the heaven or the hell side? Pella, even hell has angels. So you have. To you have to clarify about to someone is an angel. Which what kind of an angel? Eh? Who Gabriella or the other one? <laughs> I was like, I don't know who have. God has answered my prayer because my angel has arrived. I'm like, I don't know who got that only have. Fine, they sit down. Galena on the other side, the devil's uh, cousins. Because hey, tonight they were acting like Satan's cousins there. <laughs> why are you laughing it's any ah those ones are uh, 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 certain cousins who any usorisha nosli george i don't know you guys whether they were laughing at something else but it looked like they're laughing at george obviously if she's walking in and you start laughing she's gonna think you're laughing at her and because you are certain cousin you don't care <laughs> and <laughs> And then because she doesn't come and greet them, and how is she going to come and greet you if she's thinking you're already laughing at her, okay? George is already dealing with some insecurities, you guys, when it comes to friendships and all of that, okay? So obviously when she's walking in there and her ex-friends are laughing like that, obviously she assumes they're laughing at him. Like they start talking, because she doesn't come and greet them, the devil's cousins are like, ah, this is voodoo. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> this is voodoo. And then and it's like ugutagata lo ngim like ha and oh and so cool mang issues do you know they say guta son do any when someone speaks in um tongues it does not mean guta colo ga cool Satan can give you tongues there and change to do the Satan's work. Oh any girl was speaking in tongues and the tongues were zulu. She's like ah why can't she come and 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 greet and greet us and they, they laugh <laughs> you know satan was so proud of his cousins yes the way they, they were behaving i was like yo fair representation of your older cousin satan <laughs> and then guys there's too many groups so there was the group Nala umbali the the mabusi vibe the vibe was you know vibing there and then Naya, she's like oh when uh, oh lona when they come in they hug each other la payana oh jojo ben no go we are born and just like a friendship player he fake you know and that's good to why she doesn't just join the the uh, certain cousins you know <laughs> 
she can be a distant cousin of, of certain two very effectively a friendship in in what not anyway you guys i feel like for nonko at least again now she had an ally because the men were at a different part of uh whatever the venue you know like rd uh, maria's husband and kelvin they showed kelvin later on okay that's why i feel like maybe it was edited out that kelvin did greet the ladies because honestly you guys for me it really didn't make sense that kelvin wouldn't just go and say hi to the ladies even even if they had an issue with his wife okay maybe they did edit it out okay you guys but the the fight and everything goes well you guys at some point they are hugging the fighters and usli as lathele we fight i'm like plus she was wearing you know the glittery thing you know cover and then the the blazer so she did not have a top under a blazer so at some point in general she decided also the blazer must be open you know and then when the fighters were done fighting i, I, I saw the hugs also she was the only one that shook the fighter's hand and then uh the i have a i'm like hey what what is it here <laughs> Why is this here? Hey, but just leave. Uh, my was, you know, when you hug your man and you run to him and you like, and then the legs go. My sex sells and jalo. I'm telling you, I'm like, hey, Sli, I know you are single and ready to mingle, but hey, you are mingling too much. <laughs> Do we know if this man is married? So this guy uh, wins the fight. I think but Sunko see, she win, he wins the fight. No, he did not win the fight. It was a draw, which was like, ah. I how boring is that? <laughs> how do you fight for hours and then it's a draw? They said it's a draw, but then the other guy who is a trainer because they said it's a trainer against the trainee, the fight, so he gives the belt to the trainee because he says he's retiring or whatever. So he he, he does that and whatever. So Nkosi was celebrated, they saying his name. Anyway, I, I felt like he won, even though I wasn't really focused on the fight because I'm like we don't pay Shomex for fights. <laughs> pay Shomex uh, for the drama. Anyway, you guys, I think the, the, the event went peaceful enough, okay? And uh, there wasn't a lot of drama except the fact that our cousin Bagasatane, Bebe La Payana, Ujesu, Kanyeno, Ne Disciple, Yake, Bebe Ngalana. <laughs> and certain distant cousin Naiwangala, you know, and I feel like Ogutu Babe Separate Ganjalo helped because at least that they did not fight. Because we know you guys that every time that they're together, someone is gonna start the mess and then it's going to be so. I think overall, they really had uh fun. I think some people had um baby pechi lengemali on who was gonna win and all of that but i think that it went well you guys i liked how the event went but you the the saturn's cousins <laughs> and then you guys the next thing it was umbali I uh, remember that Umbali had shared Guti uh, she's having a difficult relationship with her, with her mom because her mom does not want to tell her who her father is and she gets um I get up uh, get she gets upset when she asks about him so she has called her brother and cousin who for us that's her brother too uh, to talk to them so that they can help her to sort of have this sit down with her mom because she's going on this journey and then she talks about how this is the beginning of a journey for her because of what i'm like Mbali, like this journey has been beginning for you since episode one like honestly now can we like finish the journey already like <laughs> we have been at the beginning of this journey with her mom for like how long now just go and see have a sit down with your mom already like honestly pella we don't have fifty thousand episodes here we are about to end the season with you at the beginning of it. you have been at the beginning of the journey like every time we get a scene with umbali and it's just her without the other ladies she's going to talk about the issue with her mom and beginning a journey with uh, um with the with her mom's uh, issue okay but it's always the beginning of the journey it's like the journey never goes anywhere she was uh, took, uh, talking to her ben 10 about it the other time she did a diary session now she's talking to her brother about it i don't know who she's gonna talk to next about it and it's always going to be the beginning just walk the journey already you know i would like to have got a, a scene with her mom already like honestly like we'd like standing at the same place with umbali <laughs> 
<laughs> like, you know, can we move already? She was telling her brothers the same story that she has told to her Benton to say, you know, me and my mom don't have an easy relationship and now I want to do this journey. Like, take the journey already. You know, for me, it was a boring scene for that. It was good that we got to meet her family, which is uh, her two brothers. But I was like, can we just like be done already with this journey of you and your mom? <laughs> Because <laughs> we've been at the beginning. Pella, you can't just be at the beginning of a journey for like the whole year. And then next 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 season, you're going to walk the journey. Then the next season, you're going to finish the journey. Ah, I'm, I'm over. I'm bad. Anyway, you guys, there was a scene in this uh, episode. And then we get Unungu, no George. <laughs> okay. So uh, they finally got to have a sit down, Unungu, no George. I think they were at George's house and they went to some bushes somewhere to sit, I think, you guys. So, of course, when they are there, this is the thing with Unungu, because I do feel like they really like each other, Unungu, no George. And I feel like they re really do love each other. But I do feel like Unungu does a little bit too much when it comes to Jojo. And I do feel like that thing that Usorisha was saying, that it, it's not balanced. It's like Unungu overdoes things, and then Jojo is like chilled with, with friendship. And... I feel like a friendship should be equal, you know, I'm a effort to find a lot of fun, you know, and Uno Kunjo is like, Ujojo is, Anga is like his God to her, and then Yena, she is Jesus, Uzo Betelus, Pamba We are born and Jena go to that combination. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus and the Father are not, the, you know, are not equal. You are born a letting show. So, if friendship seems that way, and then honestly you guys i feel like easy nazika jojo must hurt right now because nonku kisses them too much you know i feel like she has you know amabala manje ngqeni u jojo from nonku kissing it you know you are the real housewife you are the true definition of a housewife i love you so much i will die in the cross for you i even told the ladies that i would defend you to death okay and then jojo in the diary session is like uh i would not die for anybody except my husband and my child okay basically jojo is like no i won't i wouldn't die for nongo i wouldn't defend nongo to death You know, this is what we've been saying. It's not like we don't like the friendship, but the friendship is just not the same. Okay. So, okay, she's talking about how, you know, the trip went after she left. And then she says, Unungu, uh, when that whole explosive thing happened with Uchocho and she threw a glass at her, obviously Uchocho is saying clearly, I did not mean to... This is the thing, Uchocho. Uchocho says she did not mean to throw the glass at Nongu, and she was horrified that it went to Nongu. So I was like, so what if Annie was sitting there? Would you not be sorry? Because it's and what if Sorisha was sitting there? Would you not be sorry? Guys, I can't. Like, I want to get back to just being okay with Uchocho because obviously she's still part of the show for now. Okay, I want to get back to being uh, okay with her, but I can't deal with the fact that she can never really take responsibility ability you know even in that scene because obviously nonku is not gonna hold her accountable and say listen my friend but i know that you didn't mean it but can you take some responsibility in a in, in a um at least you were not supposed to behave that way you are not supposed to do that as an adult in an argument you know no matter how upset you are you don't do that nonku is never gonna do that but she, she or george or herself cannot do it for herself to just say listen you guys i should not behave that way those words are not coming out of jojo's mouth no matter how much you try to get them out okay so Udoku goes on to say, I was feeling bad, but I was thinking you feel worse than me. Like Unonku has Lendo Yoguti u uh Mpilonyak Ubega Abantu Pezul Gunai. And as what is it called, you guys? Where somebody u u u u u u u u like I'm your servant, I'm your friend, eh? my fr you know, I don't understand that about Nongu. I do feel like you can be friends with somebody and still tell them if they're wrong. I feel like you can be friends with someone and say, I'm Gankota was Watlanya Gengalela Lang. I number sing mangel goes kandim gansa. You know, you have to be able to say things like that. It looks like Unongu she's not able to say that. How can she say Gutsi? Oh Jojo, she was thinking there, Gutsi. 
ulimele ehlweni you know your your eye was red and i still believe you guys that more than just water got into nongo's eye okay but she says only water so we will believe her because she says that we will believe her but i feel like possibly more than that got on on her face that day now you guys she is saying you are hurt and uh, you had nothing to do with the argument but you're the one that is hurt by your friend but you are saying your friend felt worse than you how is that possible because basically that's what she's saying i felt like even though i was feeling bad but you must have felt really really bad no cool <laughs> i feel like nongo needs to go to that counseling uh, those counseling sessions more and she needs to talk about how she uh, um uh, does friendshiping you know because there's something wrong with how she feels about uchocho and one day yes friendship for now is cute but we all know that some friendships that you meet as adults do not last forever okay temporary you know you less cash and contracts got three months <laughs> so yeah you guys i don't like how nongo is in that uh, friendship you guys and Ujocho goes on to say, you know, this group makes me behave a certain way. I'm like, it's not a group. It's you. You know, because if it was the false group, then everybody would behave that way. Because then everybody would be, when they are with that group, they'll be throwing glasses and throwing water. It's not the group. It's you. At the end of the day, you make a decision to behave that way. So, you guys, I feel like from this episode, obviously, we get that Ujocho is not going to take responsibility. Even... Because she might have a struggle to take responsibility with the people that are no longer her friends, which is Sorisha and Annie and the rest of them. Maybe I might get that. But with your friend, we are having a, a, a conversation, just the two of us. You can just say to your friend, friend, yo, I got like, I was wrong. You know, I know I was upset. I was triggered. But I shouldn't have done that. She's not doing that at all. Okay. And then Sorisha calls Unoku just after they were uh, talking about her because uh, Ujocho was talking about how confused she is with the state of their relationship with Usorisha. She doesn't know how to uh, take her, okay? I feel like I don't feel like U -U Usorisha necessarily has an issue with Ujocho directly, but I feel like Usorisha has an issue with Unonku, even though I don't know the reasons, okay? But I do feel like even Unonku cannot expect U Usorisha to be friends with her when she's busy there by the diary session calling her a puppet to UN, okay? So Unonku sometimes will act so innocent, like, I don't know what I did to Sorisha. Yes, you do, because you're calling her puppets. So why do you want to be friends with somebody that you are busy uh, calling her puppets, you know? So she calls them just after they were uh, trying to have that conversation. She's inviting them to an event. It's SPCA event, uh, which Usane calls a dog event. <laughs> Event is in <laughs> okay. I like to say this uh, episode, you guys. I felt like she was some uh, comic relief, but I feel like Oeni was not having it because Oeni is like, until you take some accountability for the things you said about me, me and you are not friends, okay? But anyway, you guys. This is the, my first part of the review. Please make sure that you like the video and don't forget to go into the comment section and tell me what you thought about this part of the review. Did you even uh, like it? And what do you think about Jojo being back in the group right now? Anyway, you guys, please like the video before Pumega gonna share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Tanda Kakun.